What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Starlink. Uh, you gotta love when you're going to edit a video and the first introduction of the video is gone. So we're redoing it. Uh, this is the box that Starlink comes in and something I pointed out or I want to point out is when I received the box it had this big tear in it. Uh, they have like a 30-day refund policy. It has to come in the same condition they sent it to you. So if you guys are ordering it, hopefully you don't receive it like this. If you do plan on returning it, I'm going to be keeping mine, but just thought I'd point it out. Uh, other than that, uh, it is a nice, clean, gray box with Starlink and a picture of the dish. Uh, when you pop it down, uh, it's taped along the sides, it opens up, and you're presented with this card, and it gives you a nice three-step uh installation uh so basically it's saying number one make sure there's a clear view of the sky number two plug in the router and uh number three you connect to your phone and then when you lift this off there's all the stuff that's inside which i pull out which we're going to jump to now all right so i pull out all of the box uh the first thing i noticed is the actual dish part is kind of dirty which I don't know why it's like that. So between the box being damaged and the dish being dirty, hopefully I didn't get like a pre-used one or pre-owned one. Uh, <laughs> probably not, it's just me being picky maybe, I don't know. It seems really, I don't know, it's weird. All right, so uh, it is connected to a cable, uh, which is your ethernet cable, which plugs in to this box here. And they made it nice and simple, it's color coordinated. So when I unplug them, you know exactly where things are going because you have black on one side and white on the other which comes from their little modem here. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it is pretty heavy and it has a nice texture to it. So I'm told if you live in a snowy climate like myself, and you'll see that when I go to set this up outside, that uh, this will heat up to melt snow away. It obviously won't melt if there's like a big pile that builds up around it, uh, but it will melt snow away, which is pretty cool. So. Uh, I'm gonna take this outside. Uh, I will show you guys uh, the plug-in process and then finally getting it up and running. Okay, I'm actually gonna set it up on the stand before I take it out just to make it a little easier. So it has these, and hopefully you guys can pick it up in the video, it has these two little pin things that push in. And on here, there's two little holes. So you just have to align them properly and it will just kind of snap in and stand. And let me spin my camera around so you guys can see it from the other side. And that is my front puppy in the background enjoying his toy. And that's it. It just snaps in like so. So that's basically what it looks like on uh, its little stand. All right. So I plan to put it out back here. Uh, the problem is, is I can't run a cord inside here uh, because I have parrots. So in order for me to keep this hooked up, at least until I get my... Uh, roof mount. I have this big pole. I taped it to the end and I plan to fish the cable up to the second floor through a window to finally plug it in so I can keep it plugged in uh, fully all the time until I get a more permanent setup. So <laughs> time to fish the cable up. This will be fun. All right so as I do this I kind of wish one thing. I wish that this cable uh, that you have to plug in was disconnectable from the actual dish itself uh, because it makes it a little bit harder because if it was I can just go up to the top and then just throw it down but uh, because you can't do that the trusty pull will make things work hopefully and there we go so cables up there uh, we're, we're gonna go up plug it all in then I'll come back we'll try out the dish a little bit over here so hold up all right, so there it is down there. And we have our cable here, which we are gonna plug back in the same way we received it. And these are with two hands in one. And then we have our modem that just plugs in. And as I say this, it's weird. There is no, just really empty and blank. So that is it. Uh, I guess this cable provides data and power, which is interesting, but this is, this is everything. Uh, let's go back down. Let's check out the dish. Let's try to set up the app and let's 
see if it works. All right, so I have the app open uh, at the bottom. It says start setup, and we're gonna hit next. Actually, let's go back for a second. Uh, home, start setup. I wanna show you real quick the dish is connected to the power box which is connected to the modem which plugged into the wall that's exactly what i have and next it says open wi-fi settings and connect to one that says starlink so just opening it up right now and it's just searching for wi-fi networks and we see starlink and it is connecting something to note i did mess up before with uh the plugs <laughs> white goes into white black doesn't goes into black all right, so now it says create a new Wi-Fi network. So you can enter the name, enter the password. I'm going to do that now. Just retyping my password. If you guys have any suggestions of stuff you want to see within in terms of tests, I want to do a snow test with it too. Uh, just leave a comment down below and we'll do that. All right, so it says you will now be disconnected from the router. Reconnect using your uh, new Wi-Fi name and password. So... Uh, first we are basically connecting to the modem or router that they give you, I guess, uh, and then, uh, we're going to connect back. All right. So now that we connected back, uh, you can see devices that are connected are already connected to for fun. You can see the signal strength. I believe the dish has moved, uh, since I set it up and actually let's play around with that right now. So if I move it down this way, you can actually hear it moving. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, so <laughs> just me messing around with a little, a little bit, just moving it offline, no connection. So uh, it's obviously sensitive. It can't. It has to be pointing at uh, the sky all the time, right? So I totally disconnected it. Uh, we'll try to get a better signal uh, as soon as I get signal again or it connects again. All right, the last thing I want to talk about and show is uh, like how fast it is. So this is Bell. This is the fastest internet I have in my area up until Starlink came along. So you can see here, uh, that is my download speed, 28, and it is uploading at 5.5 uh, with a 17 a latency. Uh, so not the greatest by any stretch of the imagination. Now we move over to Starlink. 71 with a 13 upload, which is almost three times, two and a half times faster. Uh, download is more than twice as fast. Uh, latency is a little bit higher, but overall it seems pretty good. Uh, just from the speed test, from me doing some basic surfing so far, uh, I do notice a slight, well, it's twice as fast, right, basically. So uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Uh, I'm happy with it. This is obviously like my first initial review. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. I'll be doing a snow video test with it tomorrow and um, I'll give a more in-depth review of it in the upcoming weeks. Uh, when I get my roof mount, I'll also do the Google Wi-Fi. Uh, I'll set that up to it and we'll check out the mount so I can get the rest of my network up and going. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for the latest and greatest. Uh, if you guys have any comments, suggestions, if you have it on order, let me know in the comments below. If you have it already, uh, what are your thoughts? And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. So if you heard it in the background, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> yeah.